Alrighty, let's fix these uh, Jetfan 90s. Uh, today we're going to uh, design an inlet ring and print it out. We're going to build a jig to attach the tabs. We're going to create some new custom tabs to improve what's already on there. And let's get to it. First off, we need a side profile of the inlet lip. So I used the bandsaw and just cut a chunk off, which is in the uh, lower corner there. Then I imported the uh, side profile into Fusion 360, uh, drew around it with a sketch, and then I used the Revolve to create the inlet lip. Once I had the Revolve, I could then proceed and create, start creating the jig. The, the jig is to hold the body, which you can see now, uh, in position so that the mounting tabs can be perfectly aligned and installed without any uh, problems whatsoever. I then sent the file to the uh, laser and started the job. As you can see, it's cutting out real clean and nice and it's all tabbed, so it's easy to align and uh, glue together. So uh, let's get on with it. Once the files were cut, we could then proceed to build the jig. All right, guys, uh, this is how I uh, put my stuff together. I have a chamfer here. It helps reduce uh, catching onto it. So what I'm going to do is just put this one in here. So I'm just getting it nice and straight. And we'll throw some CA on it. All right, folks, uh, here we go. We've got the uh, base built up, the uh, jig. I've done a couple of mods uh, since we uh, assembled it. Uh, I've put a piece here, which actually creates like a backstop or a front stop, whichever way you want to call it. So the fan positions itself perfectly and can't move. The Diameter here is exactly the outside diameter of the uh, body of the fan. So it fits absolutely tight, horizontal, no problem. So what we're going to do is uh, assemble this thing. So first thing I want to do is uh, look at my wiring. My wiring comes up through the output ducts. I mean, I should say the outlet outlet ducts so i want that to be vertical i've uh, pre-sanded uh the the sides where the uh, tabs are going to go i've cleaned these up with uh, isopropanol where i send it to make sure uh, any epoxy what was on has gone uh, i need really really good adhesion so let's just make sure we've got this exactly where we want it which is there all right so <clears throat> I've also made some vertical tabs, which are going to go on the sides here, and that's going to reinforce these. Now, I've rough sanded the edges here and the tops where these tabs are going to go. So what we're going to do... Oh, the other thing is, um, I realized that these were so tight because they were perfectly you know, done in 3D that the glue would probably drip into this and stick. So what I've done is about a one millimeter setback on both sides. So I've got a space for the glue. And hopefully we don't uh, have any adhesion. Now, the thing is, is uh, I could have put some, you know, sellotape here uh, to help reduce it, uh, any adhesion to the, to the uh, base. But uh, this is so perfectly symmetrical here that the tape would actually create friction. I wouldn't be able to sit the fan in. So what I've done is I've put the fan in. I've pushed it up to the front stop. I'm pushing down so it seats in both uh, radiuses here. And now we're going to glue the thing up. So uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but these have a little tab setback on each uh, tab and that's so the thrust tube the thrust tube can sit into that 
Uh, and I'll, I'll probably show you that a little later. Anyhow, let's uh, see if we can glue this sucker up. So what I'm going to do is just face glue it first. I'm going to keep clear of this tab because uh, I don't want to have to cut that out. So with that said, I got some glue in there, so we'll nip it off. So holding that, checking my wires are all in the right position. I'm just going to push it in and I'm just going to give it a blast of, uh, make sure it's flat and give it a blast of the uh, kicker pushing it in a little bit create the friction or adhesion i should say and then we'll do the other side again making sure the tab is to the back of the fence so let's get a bit on there and then uh, we'll get the kicker on pushing in down and a little bit of kicker. Hold it for a couple of seconds and all should be good. Before I do anything, I'm going to just uh, remove the fan, make sure it's not glued to the base, which it hasn't. So we'll set it back in. Pushing down. Now, I'm going to put these guys on. I uh, have these mounting holes, there's three on each side, but I only use two of them. So uh, we're not going to be concerned about that. A liberal amount of CA. I have sanded these where the laser cut them. Because if you don't, you get all this charcoal. All right, there we go. Push down for a little minute. Kicker. And if you don't have a laser, uh, you can make these things up with a um, bandsaw or whatever. So they should all be good now. So what we'll do is we'll drop some fillets around. And this will really give you like basically twice as much grip. Being careful not to get into that guy. Because we don't want to fill that slot with CA. And we don't want so much on that we can't get our bolt and washers on there. And I've used this uh, on several of my big jets. And I've never had one break off until uh, the accident we had. So <laughs> that's telling you something. Oh, we need to uh, run some fillets around here as well. Now, I'm not going to run one on this side because I don't want to close off that tab. Because that would be a bugger to uh, try and clean out. So we'll just do that. All right, a quick shot of kicker. And uh, we should be good. So let's see. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. So what I'm going to do now is just put a little fillet on the bottom here. Not too much. Again, keeping clear of this tab. Where's the tab? Is that, you know, these fans being black, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. And it's definitely hard to uh, photograph and whatnot. So, there you have a fully installed uh, fan tabs. And they're uh, set to what the manufacturer did. So this is the fan what was all destroyed. So uh, these were epoxied in, sanded, obviously cleaned off with isopropanol or alcohol, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, epoxied in and fillets put on, trying to keep it as smooth as possible so you don't screw up the airflow. And uh, this is a brand new fan. 
um because <laughs> it's got blades in it so what i need to do is i want to update uh, these uh, tabs here on these brand new fans and uh, i believe if i recall i think the jet fan manufacturer um and these are the i guess first generation uh, jet fans but i think the jet fan guys did do these tabs and that's where i got the idea from okay now we have the uh, second one uh, finished uh that, that was a bit wonky but that's all right uh, so those are what they look like guys yeah all we have to do now is uh get some new uh, blades and uh we should be good to go they're nice and strong that's what they look like perfectly horizontal here exactly what we want anyhow so all i need to do is replace the fans on these but what what i'm actually going to do for the eurofighter is i found these uh brand new fans two of them which i didn't realize i had i don't even remember buying them or uh, where i got them from so these are what i'm going to put in the eurofighter so just have to add the tabs to these send this off add the tabs well i uh, have to doing all that jig putting all the tabs on and all that kind of good stuff i uh printed out the inlet lip <laughs> and uh that's what we ended up with this is uh, an original it's uh perfectly set up but unfortunately the uh, lcd failed on the uh, resin printer it turns out that uh, researching into it because i've only probably run i don't know 10 prints through that thing and maybe a total time of three hours i guess no probably more like eight hours the uh lcd failed on one side and i couldn't for the life of me think what was going on so um yeah <laughs> I uh, had a brain fart one night when I couldn't sleep thinking about it. And then I thought, oh, I'll do one of those uh, vac cleaning things where the whole LCD uh, lights up to uh, clean a layer off. And found out only half of it was working. And I'd redesigned the intake lip, just slightly did a flow analysis on it. And uh, found that the original one, as nice as it is, had a bit of a kind of a bump here sharp edge so i i rounded this so it would be a much smoother inlet and it's pretty much perfect right now but uh, i only have half a fan i mean uh, half a lip so i'm gonna have to either buy an lcd which is like 120 bucks um on a year old printer which is hardly used and um i'll buy another printer i might just buy another printer because you know for another 150 bucks you can buy a brand new one so why wouldn't i then i got some spare parts but yeah uh, came out lovely perfect fit or oh, half of it <laughs> um yeah it would have been absolutely perfect but now we delayed in uh, finishing these fans because we need an lcd or a new printer so that's uh, probably what we're going to do. Um, I didn't know when I was getting into these resin printers, because I've got a couple of the FDM ones that we use, uh, that the LCDs are a consumable product, believe it or not. It's supposed to be a 2,000 hour LCD, but the UV uh, ray, I guess, what comes up through it, apparently uh, kills uh, LCDs over a very short period of time so uh, i guess we didn't get our money's worth out of that one anyhow thank you elegoo